Hi, it's been a while. In case you don't follow my other socials, just for some context, Katniss has literally driven me a little bit insane. I've been working on her for now almost a year and I am literally at the end of making her work and it's been the most annoying progress to date. On top of dealing with a problematic cosplay, Fern is one of those that's just required a lot of like itty bitty pieces of work. There's not a lot of huge updates. I fully finished two pieces of the cosplay. I finally have the rest of the materials to work on the rest of the cosplay it's just taken a lot of time. So I haven't really been able to work on stuff between that and between work and some other things going on in my life. So I thought today would be really fun because a friend of mine, my very lovely friend Mackenzie, purchased this as a gift for me. And it's been a while since I've done a statue unboxing. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's open the box. So I do actually already know what this is. I will say this is the first ever statue purchase that I've gotten where the corners have like these really nice rubber hard edges to make sure that the box itself doesn't get crushed. It's my girlfriend. This box is incredible. It is a piece of art in of itself. This is the box art is by Kate May. If they have a social media, I'll make sure to tag them down below. But this is absolutely incredible. It depicts the Library of Leviathan where Ida works, as well as Ida on the very top of it. It has, oh, let's see, Compass Points Library, I think in like a bunch of different languages on it. And then of course, Ida is within the library itself working. So this is based on her mini that is from the Dimension 20 seasons that she's in. Um, I think this is based on her original mini. Oh my gosh, the bottom of it's so pretty. It's got like a velvet bottom with Dimension 20 on it. And then stacks of books. There's no names on them because I can't even imagine how you would have to engrave and hand paint all that. But still the details of the books are so, so well done. Next there is the Phoenix herself. Within the book itself though, you can see what looks like arcane writing. The detail of her face is so well done, her ears as well. She's got some really, really bright, vibrant colors on her. And again, it's got a really good weight. I thought that this was going to be one of those like plastic statues, which would have been totally fine because I was still really impressed with the quality of it, but it almost feels like a resin. Next, we have her gorgeous phoenix wings, which because of the dry brushing effect, almost have like an iridescence to them. Such vibrant, vibrant colors. It's so perfect for our flamey girl. I love her. Again, as a fig cosplayer, it's like necessity that I have my girlfriend, you know, my paramour. I'm really impressed by the quality of this. The paint job is really, really well done. It's very simple, but it fits because that's very much like the vibe of Dimension 20. A lot of like dry brushing effects going into this to add more dimension. For context, this was an $80 statue. I don't know what the shipping cost was because again, my friend purchased this for me. Thank you, Mackenzie, I love you. But honestly, for an $80 statue, like this is really nice. The fact that you have the arcane sigils on the arm, as well as all the detailings inside the book that she's reading, truly, truly a really nice piece. If you are a Fantasy High fan, I'm really hoping they make more of these. I would love to see some of the bad kids be made to statues, but considering the price and the size and everything, like this is a solid piece for your collection. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. I really, really do appreciate this. It was much needed after everything that's been going on. Dimension 20, if you ever want to sponsor me, I'd, I'd appreciate that as a diehard fan and someone who keeps accidentally making content about you guys because you'll keep making new stuff that I have to talk about. Just throwing it out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a really great day and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.